Okay, so on this paper, it's kind of like yesterday, okay? Now, <clears throat> it's got a problem here, okay? And there's several parts to this problem. It says, obviously the problem is this circle one, discrete or continuous. Then it says, write the set of all possible x values, which is your domain. So this is your domain. Then it says, write the set of all possible y values, which is your range. Then it says, can he purchase 14 songs, why or why not? Now, with that problem, you have to actually look at this paper and figure out which <laughs> graph goes with this. Now, if you notice, I put A, B, C, D, all that. You don't have to draw the graph or anything. You're just going to put A, B, C, or D in that big box next to that problem. Or E or F. Now, if you notice, there's six graphs here. But there's only four problems. Front and back. Okay? So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to give you 20 minutes. Mm, let's just let's say 25 minutes to go through this. You can partner up with somebody. 25 minutes to go through this, fill in all this information and what graph goes with it. And then at the end of 25 minutes, we're going to compare. See what you got compared to what I got. See if it's right or see if it's wrong. Got it? Look at it carefully. Now, you got to remember, discrete means what? Dots, but since we're in a word problem, remember you can't have an in between. There's no in between. Okay? Continuous means connected. So that means there is in betweens. Now, if you figure out the graph, you should be able to figure out this just based on the graph. Okay? You should. And then obviously all that stuff, and then answer this. Okay? Now, Take your time on it. 25 minutes. Go. Okay, it says, uh, Gillian received a $15 card to download, or gift card to download music for her MP3 player. Each song costs $1.50. Okay, so first of all, uh, discrete or continuous? Discrete. Discrete. Perfect. So which graph did you choose? Uh, the XY graph. The XY graph. Well, A, B, C, D, E, or F? B. B. Should be, should be graph B. So all you had to do is put B in there. Oh, hold on. Say it. Let me unfreeze my... There you go. Right there. Should just be graph B. Now, it says write the set of all possible X values. So what's your all possible X values? Zero through ten. There you go. Zero through ten. Now this is right the set of all possible y values. So how does this go? You're going the wrong direction. You're going the wrong direction. Think about it. You have a gift card. And you pay something with that gift card. It goes down instead of up. I wish I had a gift card when you swiped it and added money to it. It'd be nice. I'd stay there all day. So it should be 15, 13.5, 12, 10.5, 9, 7.5, 6, 4.5, 3, 1.5, 0. Okay, you got to make sure you're putting it in the right order because it makes a big difference. Especially when, like, it gets to the start test and all that stuff. If the numbers are going up, that means you're adding money to the gift card. If the numbers are going down, that means you're taking money away.
Okay? Now, can he purchase 14 songs? Yes or no? No. No. Why not? Because what? Doesn't have twenty-one dollars, so doesn't have twenty-one dollars. Perfect. Okay, pretty simple. That was a pretty easy domain and range problem right there. Okay. All right. So, did we fix our problem from the going up to going down? Okay. All right. Let's look at number two. Okay, it says, uh, Karen is driving 40 miles per hour. Her total trip is 160 miles. Discreet or continuous? Continuous. continuous. Okay. What graph? D. 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 Perfect. Graph D. Now, it says, what are the smallest and largest values of the X that can give a point on the graph? So what's your smallest value of X? Zero. Zero. That means... Zero hours. Okay. What's our largest? What did y'all put right here for largest? Hold on. We got what? 160. I got a four. What else? I get anything different? Okay. It should be four because your X is always going to be time. Your X will always be time. So it took four hours to get the 160 miles at 40 miles per hour. 40 times 4, 160. Okay? So then you just take that and write it like this. 0, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 4. Okay? Now for our y, this is our total miles. Okay? What's our smallest value? 0, what's our largest? 160. And then you just write it. 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 160. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, number 3. It said Mauricia rides her bicycle 15 miles per hour on a trail or on the trail. The trail is 20 miles long. Discrete or continuous? Continuous. What graph? I got an E. Anything else? Okay. So it says write the set of all possible X values. So what's our smallest, our X value on the left of the graph? Zero. Now the one on the right... You actually have to look at it carefully. Okay. What did you put? Now, if you notice on that graph, your bottom line says like 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, and then 2, like that. And the graph goes something like this, but it's like right there. It's not quite in the dead center, but it's not at 1.5, right? Mm -hmm. So I put like 1.3. That's what I put. Okay, now if you want to get really technical, we can go... Yeah, it's 1.33. I just left that 1.3. Okay? Alright, so then we write all our possible y values. Start with 0. And what do we do from there? What's our number? 20. Now, it says, how many hours does it take Mauricia to get to the end of the trail? How do you know? How many hours does it take her to finish the whole trail? 1.3 hours. Okay. And number four. It says, uh, Merlet pays an initial fee of $20 to join an ultimate unlimited movie rental service. There is an additional cost 
of $15 every two months to maintain membership. Uh, Marie uh, is a member of the movie service club for one year. So, discreet or continuous? Discreet, perfect. Graph. F. Okay. So we want to write all our possible x values. Hold on a second. You start with two. How about start with zero? Zero month. Okay. That's like the initial start of your one year. Okay, two then. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Do I go any further? Twelve. Am I done right there? Yes, because there's 12 months in a year. Okay? Then we want to write all our possible uh, Y values. So obviously the $20 is the initial fee. It starts at 20 right? What's next? 40. Not 40. 35. What's next? 50. What's next? What's next? 80. What's next? 95. What's next? 110. And that's your... So that, this, that's not how much she's going to pay like that month. That's how much she's paid over that year. Does that make sense? So you pay uh, start at $20. And then every two months... She has to pay $15. So she's actually paid, by the end of the year, a total of $110 that whole year. Does that make sense? Don't think that, okay, if I started uh, now and then next September I'm paying $110 a month. No. It doesn't go that way. Okay? Now, 